On today's recipe video, I'm making an instant pot full of my easy lentil stew. I hope you can stick around and see exactly how it's made. To get started on our lentil stew, we're just gonna need a few simple ingredients, and those are, I have around six ounces of fresh collard greens that I recently harvested from the garden, and by recently, I mean just a few minutes ago, uh, but these are perfectly fine. You can use any green you'd like. Kale will work, spinach will work. I really enjoy collard greens in this stew, though. Then we have two pounds, or five cups, of dry lentils. Then we have some spices. And we also have eight cups of water that we're gonna be doing this. And personally, I enjoy using my Instant Pot, so we will be doing this in the Instant Pot. You could also do this on the stove top with a, you know, in a pot or pan, and you could also do this in a slow cooker. Uh, it's just gonna take quite a bit longer. I love how quick I can do this in my pressure cooker. For our spices, we have one teaspoon of thyme, one teaspoon of oregano, two teaspoons of garlic powder, two teaspoons of onion powder, and then lastly, for me and Dr. Miller, we enjoy it very spicy. We have two teaspoons of crushed red pepper flakes. You can omit that. If you don't want it spicy at all, you can drop that down to one teaspoon to half a teaspoon, wherever you feel like your spice level is going to be. But again, this is gonna make a large amount. So two teaspoons over with two pounds of lentils and eight cups of water not all that spicy, but if you're very spice sensitive, it will be. So the first thing that we're going to do is I'm gonna move these over here and I am going to go ahead and take the leaves off the stems of my collard greens. Now you can do it a couple ways. You can go ahead and pull them and take the stem off that way. That works really great. You can also come in and use your knife, I'm gonna move those and just slice down the middle and get most of the greens that way. And I think that both ways work really well. Personally for me, I like to go in and just take my collard greens, line them up like this. And then set them down on our table, taking the stems this way and giving them a good chop here. I'll turn it so I can see where those stems are at and giving it a good chop there. Now you could go through and get every little bit off of this, but if you're someone like me and you do compost, this will not go to waste and it will all go out fresh to the garden. So I'm gonna set this to the side. And now we've got our stemmed collard greens, which I'm gonna set here. And then lastly, we are going to go ahead and just rough cut. So bringing it here to the center and we're just going to give them a good chop. They are going to break down quite a bit in the stew. So I'm not worried about them not cooking. I am just wanting them to just be nice small pieces that are gonna be able to be used or be kind of bite-sized pieces in there. So I'm gonna bunch it all up here and give it one more good chop. Awesome. So there is our six ounces of collard greens that have been destemmed and have been rough cut. So there they are, perfect. Next, we have our Instant Pot here all ready to go, and we are gonna open it up and add in our ingredients. And the first thing that I like to add is I like to go in and add my lentils. Lentils. Next, we have our greens i'm just gonna throw in there and then we've got our spices two teaspoons of crushed red pepper flakes two teaspoons of garlic powder two teaspoons of onion powder one teaspoon of thyme and then lastly one teaspoon of oregano now we're going to go ahead and add in our water lastly actually <laughs> so we're going to add that in and I just like to go in and give it a good stir. If you don't stir it, it's really not the end of the world. It's gonna turn out great anyways, but I just like to get, make sure that those spices are well mixed in there. You can already smell, it's got a great spice profile to it. We're gonna mix that up. 
and then we're just gonna put our lid on. So I'm going to set this on the pressure cook setting for 30 minutes and uh, we'll let that naturally release. And uh, once you've let it naturally release after it's gotten done cooking, you can go ahead after about 30 minutes and hit the quick release setting. And if you're in a real big hurry, you can always quick release it. But I just find that letting it naturally release uh, just cools it down a little bit or doesn't cool the soup down a little bit. Uh, it actually just, um, just allows the mixture to come together a little bit more. So 30 minutes on the pressure cook setting and we'll be back once it's released. I am back, but it is not 30 minutes after this has been done cooking. This is actually a few hours afterwards because I was making this pot of my lentil stew to take over to some friend's house for a party we were having. And so I ended up cooking up this pot and brought back what I had left. And I will say it was tough to bring some back because everybody wanted so much of it and wanted to take seconds and thirds. So I did luckily have a little bit left and I have it right here in my bowl here. It was a huge hit. Now, I will say that when I opened up the Instant Pot, it is a thicker consistency. So you can make a couple decisions. You can keep it nice and thick and have it like that. Or like I did tonight, knowing that it was gonna be serving a lot of people, I ended up adding two cups of water after it was done cooking and I released it or after the pressure had released. And then I went ahead and mixed in those two cups of water. That ended up thinning it out a little bit and making it more of a soup consistency, which is what I think everybody was looking for. So that worked out great, but it came together awesome. And I went ahead and brought some hot sauce so people could put on top of it. And the crystal hot sauce is what ended up making the cut. So I'm gonna put some on there, mix it in and give it a try. A really great, uh, it's, it's always awesome when you can take a recipe that you see online or that you kind of come up with, you can take it to family or friends and they can give you some validation and say, hey, this is really good. And you know what makes it even better is that it's a whole food vegan recipe that you know is health promoting for all those that are partaking in eating it. But let's go ahead and give it a bite. That is phenomenal. The collard greens kind of bring it all together. They add a real nice, deep, rich earthiness to it. The lentils are so hearty. I mean, you don't have to eat a whole lot of this before you really fill up and you feel nice and full. Your belly's full. You get a warm, nice and warm inside. And it's just a great meal to go with really anything. You could have this as itself with maybe some veggies on the side. You could bring this as a side dish or you can just make a whole meal around it, however you like. We'll mention that if you guys liked today's recipe video, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and make sure to follow the page, like the page. And as always, this recipe, my past and future recipes can all be found at plantbasedgabriel.com. I am Plant Based Gabriel. Thank you guys so very much for watching and I will hopefully see you very soon for another whole food plant-based and vegan recipe video.